friend happy sunday welcome back to another weekly vlog if you are new here i am crystal i would love for you to subscribe and if you are new subscriber thank you friend for subscribing to the channel this is another weekly vlog it is sunday night i'm about to go to bed um but i wanted to come on and open up the vlog of course Pay no mind to the beauty room. We are still in here decorating and organizing. But um, I'm about to do a mask. I haven't done a mask like this in quite a while. My face has been so dry, as you can see, and doing the absolute most. So I'm going to try this Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Mud Mask. Honey, it has frankincense and myrrh, okay? If it has frankincense and myrrh, I think it's going to be good for me. I probably should have put something on these lips, honey. Mm. Do I have anything around here to put on these lips? Just so I'm not looking crusty on the camera. Do I have anything, friend? Um, I don't know what any of my stuff is because I'm redoing all of this. We'll just go with some of this Nivea. That'll look better than what I'm looking like. So we're gonna put some of this on the lips. Mm, a little bit better. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to do this mask, okay? It says to apply a thin layer of mud with fingertips. I don't wanna use my fingers. To clean skin, avoiding the eye area. Keep on for up to 10 minutes. Remove with a damp face cloth. Use weekly or as needed. So, we're going to put it on. I have this little tray that I think I'm going to just pour it in there. And we'll see how it goes. I've been having this mask for a while. And not what I thought. It's a, um, a white mask. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be gray. I just made up something. But just a white little mask. And we're just going to squeeze some out. I don't know if it's going to take this whole package for this face or not um but i guess i might as well it's not like i'm going to be able to salvage it once i've opened it a little bit messy but i got my little spatula girl i'm getting it all over my all in my nails and everything wait a minute now I'm trying to use my little spatula because I didn't want to get it in my nails, but I did. I'm going to pack on quite a bit in this nose area where I stay real dry. Now the directions say to avoid the eye area, but I'm going to put it in the areas that I need it to go in, okay? Around this nose where I'm dry. What y'all been doing? <laughs> How was your weekend? Any plans for the week? It is finally getting cool outside. Or not cool, honey. It's still hot. But it's in the 90s. And the 90s feel kind of cool to us. Because if you didn't know, honey. It's been like in the 112s here in Texas. And hot. And hot too hot to do anything I have not been wearing any makeup because it's just too hot to do all that so I am happy that it's cooling all for getting bearable that way I can wear makeup again without it sweating off my face um so yeah, I just like the fall anyway because, you know, I can dress real cute in the fall, wear my scarves and hats. Oh, I love hats. Y'all gonna get sick of me in hats, okay? I'm gonna be in my hats all the time because I look real cute in hats, if I must say so myself, girl. I'm sure you do too, friend. Hats just elevate the look, okay? I'm excited to um, wear some boots and scarves and and everything okay i'm gonna be real cute and um my little boo honey he be dressing okay he's a 
I call him blue cheese, honey, because he be dressing. And um, I got to keep up with him. <laughs> I told him we got to get some matching clothes. We are definitely going to be that couple that um, that be coordinated. Okay. Coordinated. Um, I'll tell you more about him. As time progresses, um, I know it is new what you guys see an actual boo on the camera but this is this is the boo and um he has a position that you know is respected and just being careful and mindful and going to um you know speak when the time is right and when the lord say so okay but uh, that's my little boo, and he be dressing. Is what I said all that to say that. And um, I think we're gonna be looking real cute in the wintertime. It really says don't put it around your eyes, but my eyebrow area has been real um, flaky with my eczema acting up. That's the only thing about winter that I don't like. My eczema be doing the absolute most. But we're gonna be doing all kind of skincare and stuff now, friend, that we have gotten the beauty room somewhat together and I can get to my stuff and have access to stuff. And I mean, this channel about to blow up, honey. This channel about to blow up, okay? We about to be doing everything. <laughs> we about to be doing everything on the channel. I'm gonna be bringing you with me for it all. Um. So if you're just stopping by, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Don't let this mask uh, scare you away, friend. If you just happen to click on the video, don't let the mask scare you away. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off. So I guess I will be back. Comment down below. Let me know if you use any one of these masks. It's by Shea Moisture, the Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Mud Mask. For dry skin. I'm really not a dry skin girl, typically. I used to be an oily girl. Not very oily, combination oily. But as I get older, as this weather be doing what it be doing, my skin is getting more dry in this area. So I am just trying to trying to fix it, honey. So we're going to be using everything in the arsenal, okay, to try to get this face together. I'm just going to use one of these wipes to clean my hands. I'm going to let it sit on here for 10 minutes. And then go wash it off and then I'll be back to tell you what my thoughts are on it. If it makes me feel hydrated or, or what it do. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Alright friend, it has been 10 minutes and I just came back to show you this. Look honey, is this what Botox feels like? When I say my face, don't move. Honey, the eyebrows. I mean, I swear this is probably what Botox feels like. And I will never ever get it, okay? Because, I mean, nothing is moving. <laughs> I just had to show you that because I was not expecting the um the Botox face. I mean, these brows is stuck in place, honey. And hard and crusty. Mm. I think it's doing something because it's kind of burning a little bit. That could be in my head. But I feel like... um. It's burning a little bit. I don't know. That could be an allergic reaction. Girl, let me go take this off. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. And my face is all clean. Um, It's not feeling like anything special right now. It still does have that little burn to it. So, I don't know what that's all about. I am praying that I don't wake up in the morning. Um looking crazy but it's too late now i should have just tested like an area first but girl i just be doing stuff and i'm gonna put something on top of it okay this is the um la roche posay sickle plat sickle plat balm and this is what it looks like you have seen me um talk about this i've hauled this and um i'm just gonna put this in these areas as well just so 
it won't be flaky. I'm going to put it in the flaky areas. This stuff actually works really good if you have dry flaky skin. But for me, you have to do it like every night to be consistent with it. And I have come to realize that I have to do a nighttime routine, okay? I'm trying to establish a nighttime skincare routine because if I don't, honey, the next day, it's no good for me, okay? Oh, my skin is just doing the most, so I am forced to do a nighttime routine, sleepy or not, okay? I have to just do one because I do not want all this flaky going on in the morning. So I just put it in those areas where I get um, flaky and dry. These eyebrows right here and then this nose area. So that's it. I know I didn't just been talking for 15 minutes or so. I just wanted to open up the vlog. Say hey girl hey and thank you for coming back this week. I am going to... Oh, I'm shaking the table honey. It's shaking the table. <laughs> shaking the table. Um, I'm gonna say good night, girl. Good night, honey. I'm just all over the place. I got, I'm thinking about all the things I got to do this week, so my mind is just consumed of things. But good night, friend. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, friend. Happy Monday. Today we're gonna make a charcuterie board. I just grabbed some things out of the refrigerator. Had some ham, some salami. Well, oh, that was turkey. Some salami. And then this uh, beef jerky. Girl, I would just grab anything we have in the refrigerator and in the pantry. Next, I have some beets, some sweet pickles, some jalapenos just to make it a little spicy. Pickled okra honey because I'm country. Garlic and some other garlic. And yeah, let's just put it together. Be in the office today Tuesday and I am trying to get out the door I got about 10 minutes where I need to leave the house and honey we're gonna see if I have any curls in this hair because I just kind of threw these rods in here last night so I don't know I did curl it the other day and the curls were so cute, but I didn't want to put heat on it every day. So I just been kind of putting some rods in it and honey, I threw this together real quick, real quick, like, so, oh, that, that's a little bit of a curl. Okay. Um, we gonna see what we are looking like, honey. I am going to um, put a rinse in my hair at some point because, um, honey, these grays are are really graying lately and it is time. What is it looking like? I mean, wild and crazy, but that is okay. These nails are lifting. It's time to redo my nails. That's on the agenda. So my hair is sticking to it. And um, yeah. This is going to be a really quick 
what I do when it's time to go type of face, which is really not a face at all. What I do is do my brows and a lip gloss, which I already put on. And then I just put on a powder and I use my defined hair friend without making a mess. I gotta finish in this beauty room, honey. I do the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Powder in number three. This is what it looks like. And I've hit pan on this one. I already have a backup. So, um, yeah, that's going to be in my everyday go-to palette. I am looking for my eyebrow pencil. What did I do with it? Girl, I shouldn't have waited to the last minute to come in here and try to get ready. But I did. That's what I do. Hold on, friend. Let me see if I can find a pencil. Oh, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? I'm looking for a specific one, okay? The um, the Miss A, the Shop Miss A pencil. Here, here it is. It's the AOA, girl, I'm rushing. It's the AOA Slim Brow Pencil and it's in the color Ebony. Um, I think that as long as you have lashes on and your eyebrows filled in, um, you look somewhat put together. I put a picture on um, my Facebook and it's actually the thumbnail picture from last week. This is the what I did, honey. And I got so many compliments off that picture that I was cute. And honey, I didn't even have any makeup on. I just had brows on, a lip gloss, and Charlotte, okay? I guess Charlotte gave me that flawless finish that she say she give so we're gonna do the same thing this morning and be out of the door out the door i really need to go get my eyebrows uh shaded again it's probably been five years since i've had them shaded or more honey because we've been in covid three so maybe like six years and my lash lady keep on saying like you need to do your eyebrows you need to do your eyebrows so I might I might do them again I don't know if I want to be in pain or come up off all that money and I can just do that honey I can uh, do that and let me just wipe my face because I feel like I'm a little a little moist, honey. Um, because I'm rushing and these lights are high. Just to, you know, so my powder will go on right. I just take my little powder and I take a little sponge. And this is a sponge I have been using. And I just put it all over my face. And then that's it. And we look... A little decent I guess um, I could do some um, concealer but we are not going to do that I like to use this powder with this type of sponge versus a brush I don't know why I just like it like this I did my nighttime skincare I've been on it all week I mean, it's just Tuesday, but you know what I'm saying. I did it Sunday. I did it Monday. And so now I'm not so flaky this morning. So, yay, Crystal. Yay, Crystal, for keeping up with your face, okay? And then we just put a little bit on the forehead. And then that's going to be it, honey. Just put a little powder on Charlotte. Charlotte saves the day. I put it all over, like on my eyelids too, just to take away any shine that we have going on.
this little thing is quite expensive. How much it cost? Sixty-five dollars, something like that, honey. And I need to use the um, number seven. Number seven makes one that is supposed to be a dupe to this, and I haven't tried it yet or tested it out. But this is the number seven, and they all have this reflective. Um, thing this is shade number deep or shade deep and then I have it in shade medium so medium is more like um, this one so it's supposed to be duped you can get this at Target are they looking dupish they are looking dupish so I need to start using this one so I think this one may be $15 versus $65 I don't know but that's what I be using, honey. So now that I got the powder all over the face, I'm just going to kind of dust it in a little bit. And that's it, honey. Am I looking like anything? I don't know. I mean, oh, wait a minute, honey. I turned that light on. I see everything. It's looking real dry on this nose area. Okay, I have got to go. It's 6.30. The alarm is going off. I will see you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back on on this work day or not. I do have to make some stops after work. I need to go to Marshall's and return some things. So I will probably bring you with me to Marshall's. I have bought some containers for in here that I didn't use because I changed and ended up getting this basket or this cabinet under here. So I don't need those um, containers. So I'm going to take them back. And um, probably get something else, honey, because I know they're going to have something in there. And I haven't been to this Marshalls that I'm going to go to in quite a while. So hopefully um, they'll have some good stuff in there. And this is what we are looking like today going to work. But yeah, I'll see you when I get off.
quick update on the beauty room. I am actually about to pick out some nails and I wanted to just give you an update on my um, makeup collection. So I ended up moving the highlighters over to this drawer um, and I have a empty drawer and then I have two drawers now for blushes. I'm going to show you in an updated makeup collection video but now I have two drawers for blushes. I kind of just threw everything in there but what i'm doing right now is going through my nails because i'm trying to find some fall nails i am so over the pinks and stuff and i want some fall nails and i thought i would just give you an update so this is drawer number one i'm going to be doing a organize and makeup uh, organize and nail collection video that's going to be coming up in vlogtober so we're not going to do it today, but I'm going to organize them by brand, I think, is going to be the best way to do it. So this is drawer number one. And then I'm going to show you drawer number two. Drawer number two is just mainly Kiss and random nails that I've gotten at um, like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that. You've seen it if you have been subscribed to the channel. But I think one full drawer is just going to be Kiss nails, but... We will see. I haven't even started that video, but I know I need to do it. Last drawer is just more nails. And that one can't pull that all the way, but nails go all the way back. Um, but I have some fall nails that I picked out already. I'm going to show you the ones that I'm thinking about. And then we'll decide together which one we're going to go with. But just wanted to give you a quick update on that. Okay, these are the nails that we are going to choose from. So... I'm not really sure which one I'm going to choose. I'm just going to show you. I'm either going to do these Kiss and there's some uh, just some brown nails. Nice and chocolate and brown and so fall. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love those. Or we're going to go with this LA Colors. LA Colors, you know, is my favorite nail because the they're small and they fit my nail beds pretty good. And that's a nice taupey color is that taupe i'm thinking taupe or tan looks taupe to me pretty and fall like the next one is um i got this at the beauty supply store it's just a random type of nail kit you can um you know just pick different colors to go i'm not sure if like the rest of the nails are just one solid color or will each finger have a different color I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but we'll see. And then the last ones, and the ones I think I am going to go with because they look real cute, is these. This is the, again, uh, Kiss Nails and brown, but a lighter brown. More like a milk chocolate versus a dark chocolate. I think those are cute. So one of these two, one of these four, I should say, we're going to do our nails. Just wanted to show you what I'm trying to decide between comment down below which one is your favorite if i don't choose your favorite this go around maybe in the next two weeks when i do my nails again i'll choose the one that you like the best so let me know so we're gonna let's number them okay let's number them so we can see which ones you choose so this is number one the dark chocolate ones number two is the la colors taupey ones Number three is the random different type of color. And these are matte. If you can't tell from the video, these are matte nails. And then number four is this milk chocolatey one. So comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. And stay tuned to see which one I choose because we got to get rid of the pink. See you guys tomorrow. Hey friend, happy Friday. I am about to get ready to go to an event at church. And well, it's not really my church. It's just this um, women's retreat uh, type of thing. And so I'm all dressed. Now I'm just trying to put a little curl in my hair. It's probably gonna fall, but I do have some hairspray just to kind of Make it hold for a little bit. It's going to be a, a late event. 
it's over at 10 p.m honey and it's in dallas um so the babe the boo <laughs> my little boo he's gonna drive me there because um i don't like driving at nighttime and so he is on the way to pick me up and take me there and pick me up honey talk about some princess treatment okay who is the princess okay i appreciate him <laughs> i appreciate him that man is willing to drive to the moon for me to pick me up to take me wherever i need to go he's so sweet he's so sweet he is from the lord from the lord what I do with my clip? This is my hair girl. I just have on this denim dress. I'll try to show you once I get some little curls in my hair and all that. If you are new to the channel, honey, you know, I don't know how to do hair. So I don't know. We just twirling it around. <laughs> we are just twirling it around and it's coming up with some type of curl. And then we're just gonna fluff it out at the end, put some hairspray on it and see what it looked like, honey. I don't know. what the curls are looking like and I didn't say I use the Andis is what it's called um curling iron I think this is like a one inch barrel I use all Andis um hair tools so a while back a while back I did a declutter and got rid of all of my hair tools and just use the Andis or Andes I'm not sure how you pronounce it but here is what the curls are looking like and then what I do is just kind of flip it you know kind of let it fall as it how it wants to fall and then this is what we be looking like is it cute or not girl I think it's cute right I don't know I don't know but it's gonna get us through the night Cute. That's cute. Do the same over here. Oh, I'm looking so fair of faucet right now. Oh, honey. Let me spray some hairspray, honey. This is the Salon Selectus Flexible Hairspray. Um, honey, I just used anything in this hair. The grays are graying. I have not had a chance to um, do my little rinse in my hair, but 
Is that cute or what, friend? And what you think? I think it's cute. It's gonna get us through the night. I guess I will just see you once we get on the road. That does feel good. All right, friend, we are leaving. He's here to get me. So we're gonna go. about God. It will be Q&A about God. And it doesn't mean that you're not included in the conversation about God. It just means that everything that we tell you about you is a part of what God has said about himself. I mean, think about it. It's a narrative, right? Here it is, Adam is standing in the garden alone, and God says that there's something that is not good. That it's not good for Adam to be alone. Can you feel the tension? It's almost as if the story cannot move forward unless there is some kind of resolve. And could it be that God foreseen the fall of humanity on the horizon that he knew that he needed to make sure that that girl knew without a shadow of a doubt that her life mattered. And that the world is not good apart from her contribution. Could it be that he knew that it needed to ring so loudly from the foundation of creation that she is loved and valued so that she would be able to drown out the noise of the world around her that 
would seek to cause her to believe otherwise. I know I need to hear it. Good morning, happy Saturday. We are back at the church this morning going to day two of glory. If you have not come to an event like this, I definitely recommend you come next time if they're in your area, in your city. We had a really good time last night and I'm so excited about today, but I'll just see you when I get inside.
you're coming as revolutionary. And when the woman came, she revolutionized humanity's dominion on the earth by doubling the manpower and partnering with Adam to rule over every living thing. We thank you for your word. That it is, is God breathed. We don't have to make it more than what it is. We don't got to do a whole bunch of antics. We don't got to have fireworks. God, your, your word is the firework. Your word is the power. Your word has the truth. And I pray, God, that you would use it today to teach us something about yourself. I pray, God, that you would train us in the work of ministry, that you would equip us today. I pray that you would motivate us, that we would lean into you for the divine energy needed to do all that you've called us to do. I pray also that you would humble us, those of us who are either on the side of insecurity, where we think so lowly of your power in us that we do nothing. But I also pray for those on the side of arrogance who think so highly of themselves that they're actually not as fruitful as they could be. God, I pray that you would center us, that you would balance us, that we would all be so dependent on your power that revival happens everywhere. God, I pray that you would set us free on mission and that we would be women who, who love you and who trust you. In Jesus' name, amen.